Hello everyone, and welcome back. Now, today we're going to look out towards the far horizons of technology, particularly the far future of the internet, and start asking what it could look like. But, thanks to recent advances, as it so happens, this future could almost be here. Now, since the earliest days of network computing, there's been an idea floating around, the metaverse. And to summarize, the metaverse is a way of spatializing digital worlds. Rather than just seeing information laid out on a screen, you can basically construct entire universes to either surround what it is that you're doing or to embody what it is that you're doing. Now, for my money, I think it's a really good hypothesis for where the internet could go longer term with the other advancements that we're seeing in real-time 3D world creation, virtual reality, and even neuroscience. Now, we've seen this concept a lot in literature, in films, in research, but it's kind of started to happen organically over the years as well with bigger online multiplayer video games, which I would argue are a type of metaverse in their own right. But we're now starting to see with advantages like virtual reality and faster internets, metaverse is actually starting to try to get built on purpose, which I think is a really interesting point in history. And furthermore, with technologies like Unreal Engine 5 coming out and a lot of the other really interesting new gaming tech, I think we're starting to see a few of the pieces of the metaverse puzzle slotting together. So now's a really good time to start getting involved and start asking the right questions about how to start making these worlds happen. So let's build one. How hard could it possibly be? Well, as it turns out, to no one's surprise, incredibly. But that's okay, because often for projects like this, the best way to proceed is to break it down into its simplest form. Just a very simple set of ideas that starts getting you along the right track. So rather than build out an entire metaverse today, which I would liken to building an entire city, let's build a meta space, which is more like building a house. Now, I'm gonna start really simply. I'm gonna build a space that I can work, be, spend time in and also meet up with other friends and creators and people in the virtual reality industry. Almost like a virtual headquarters for all of my weird work. Now I'm going to be using Unreal Engine 5 for this because although it's not ready completely yet, it is still the future incoming standard for the kind of things that I do, I feel. And I want to spend as much time in it as possible and be as involved as I possibly can with the way that it grows and changes. So. How do you build a meta space? Well, in short, like this. Now, the first thing that I did was using a sketchbook, just sketch out what it was I was hoping to achieve in this little project. Designing a bit of the space, keeping it very simple, listing down all of the various tech things that I felt I needed to achieve, and making a couple of passes on this to make sure that it was continuously stripped down and not overly complicated. After this, I moved into 3D modeling, where I feel most comfortable with my early designs and basically just started sketching out how I wanted things to look, started to build the kinds of spaces I wanted. I started with a core circular office, which was gonna be the heart of this space, and then worked my way out from there. Now, I wanted this space to start testing a number of the rules that we set for ourselves over the years with how we build buildings and cities. So I wanted this exterior space surrounding my office to still be treated as part of the building, if you will. And to that extent, I kind of started scattering rooms and access points around what is otherwise a water-filled cove. Now, I also taught myself ZBrush to make the rocks. I've been meaning to do this for absolutely ages and it was really, really nice to use. I went through a couple of iterations of rocks as I was starting to learn the software a bit more, but in the end, it was really powerful. And I found a way to make the exact same set of designs work with ultra high detail in Nanite, all the way down to things like standalone and mobile games. And that's primarily thanks to how uh, powerful ZBrush is as a tool. Okay, so we've got our design, we've got our surrounding area and rocks which will improve as we iterate. Now we have to start thinking about the actual metaverse backend and mechanics and programming. Now, for any online experience or virtual experience, there's always going to be a huge amount of infrastructure in the background to make sure that all of the various players can properly communicate with each other, they can join and leave worlds, they can share information, and to basically give structure to what it is that everyone's doing. Now, for a project like this, you have to be careful not to let things spiral out too much, so I'm gonna keep things really simple. A basic player class, uh, tailored for virtual reality, that's really good for moving around the space properly. Some nice floating hands, which again, is fairly simple if you're not gonna go for a full VR IK system. 
and a very simple online sessions system using an Unreal plugin that should basically just allow me to create and join hosts. And I think for now, at the stage that we're at, where I'm tailoring out this project to basically have meetings with other people in the industry or other friends with VR headsets, I think that'll be enough. So now let's jump into the world for a quick tour and see how things are looking. So let's host a session. It'll just be us in here for this quick exploration. And here we are. Now, the first thing that you're gonna notice is some of these weird rusted out relics. And that's something that I'm looking at putting in more of over time. Basically, those are things I've made in other games and projects. And I'm just gonna bring them in and scatter them around here. Almost like uh, relics from other projects or other worlds. I think the first thing we should do now though is go straight to the center of the space, the office. Now let's open her up. Now, as you'll notice here, one of the things I find most interesting about VR is you can break the rules of physics if you want to. So there are new ways to transition between spaces, new ways to control space, and we can make it more responsive and flexible than you could in the real world. I think this area in the back of the office is going to be a planted area. I wanted to bring a lot of nature into the space, but I think I'll make another pass on it or two in the future. Now let's move into the centre of my work area. I'm really happy with the way the stone floor turned out. I think it's quite cool. But for now, let's press up and see where we go. So for me, one of the most interesting things that VR can do that the real world can't do is make space more flexible and responsive than you can in the real world without at least putting a lot of engineering into it in the real world. And for me, this is one of the most important things that VR can do. It can give more people access to what I call spatial agency or the ability to influence their environments than they could in the real world. And this should change things forever. Now, make no mistake, metaverses are coming. They're not gonna replace the internet but they are going to be a new way of engaging with information and space. And I don't think humanity has ever really seen anything quite like this in the past, and I don't think any of us will have really had any previous way to measure exactly how this might change the way we influence our environments. But I think one of the most important things to consider about metaverses is, unlike the way we often see them depicted in media or books, there's not just going to be one metaverse. A metaverse is just an ecosystem of information or an ecosystem of worlds and networks. And exactly like with the internet, there are millions of websites, each of which you could think of as its own small microcosm of ideas. Metaverses could very easily be very similar to this, even if there are big ones. You know, there are some huge companies at the moment that are starting to announce that they're focusing on metaverse technology and metaverse approaches more and more. But that doesn't mean that there can't be as many as we can build. And right now, the question is, how do we build them? How do we make them good? How can we make them faster than we can currently make them? Are there ways that we can speed it up? Are there going to be standardized frameworks that we're going to use to make them? Standardized ways of communicating? Ways of jumping from one to the other as quickly or as seamlessly as we can? And right now, these are open questions. But if you work in the real-time industry, if you work in the video game industry, if you work even in social media, the, even in architecture and uh, real urbanism, Metaspace is going to start becoming one of the most interesting and transformative areas of design and creation that humanity has seen in the 21st century and beyond. And I would encourage all of you to start thinking about it more and more and to start looking at what you can do about them. They're not all going to come hard and fast, but I'd be very surprised if by 2030 we didn't all have a lot more to do with them. And I think my favourite thing about all of this is we don't know how it's going to change the world yet. Although they're going to be incredibly powerful, they could go anywhere and they could go in many different places at once. Right now, if you want to see how metaverses can build cultures or networks of people, I would look to MMOs. Uh, I think they're one of the most interesting spatialized examples of how a connected up series of digital worlds and millions of people can start building communities, or even more than that, actual cultures, subcultures. 
I think that's going to be one of the first things that Metaverses start doing, and I think it will happen more organically rather than with great big inventions. Even if there are going to be some crazy announcements and releases from some of the bigger tech companies in the coming years. But for me, I think right now my focus is going to continue to be exactly what it is, virtual reality. Because all of this for me, digitized space, I think in the long run it's not just about wearing a headset and going inside a game or an experience. It's about building more layers of worlds on top of our real world, not as an escape, but as an addition. I think it's going to be one of the coolest things humans have done in quite a while. And although it's a cliche, we are only really just getting started, but it's already getting exciting. Now I have a question for you all. This is a very quick prototype I've put together. But I want to know what you guys think about metaverses at the moment. I'd be very curious to know if you value, let's say, for example, PC VR based metaverses versus standalone. I want to know what you find important in them. Right now, all this is is a space to meet people and just to be just an escape from uh, my everyday life. But it could definitely grow into something else. It's not going to be my primary project anytime soon, if ever. But I'm very curious to know what you guys uh, want to see from the future of virtual reality and metaverses. So feel free to message in the comments, feel free to reach out. But unlike a lot of the smaller projects that I experiment with and prototype with, I don't think I'm done with Metaspace. I don't think I'm even close to being done with it. And I'm very probably going to return to this kind of thing in the next few weeks. Yeah, when I just find some free time in between uh, my main tasks and see where I can take it. I think it'd be quite fun to turn this into a really casual multiplayer game, but I think more than that, uh, understanding how to build a framework for open metaverses could be quite cool for Unreal Engine users. So once again, have a chat in the comments, see what you think. And for now, I'm going to get back to uh, building Project Remind, my virtual reality experience. And until next time. Thank you so much for watching and take care.